I have a thing I kind of live my life by, and I call it the clouds and the dirt. It's about the dreams and reality. It's about the, the, the not living in the middle of it all. You know, chewing the dirt, doing the grind, doing what it takes to make the dreams happen. You have the dreams and you eat the dirt to get to the dreams. The people that live in the middle are just riding it out, doing whatever it takes to be there. I like to be at those outer limits. And I had some phone calls earlier today, and I had a few rants, and I ranted a bit. And this is one of the rants. I, I recorded it, and I wanted you guys to see it. And it's something I really believe and something I thought. And People are entitled, and they're not willing to put in the work. And I don't understand why they won't put in the work to do their dreams. They tell you what their dreams are, but they're not putting in the work. They only give us excuse after excuse after excuse after excuse. And I, I see no excuses in life. Excuses are like assholes. Everybody has one. Go fucking get to work and do what you want to do to get to your dream and don't expect something just to fucking happen to you. So, here's that rant. I honestly can say I love my life right now. Like, I may not love the place I'm at, but I love the car that I drive. I have my dream car. I'm living in a tour bus. Like... I, I may not love the situations I'm in and some of the things I'm going through, but I'm getting to chase my dream and I'm getting the opportunity to do things most people would never get the chance to do. Like I get to build cool cars, I get to travel, so a little bit of uncomfortability along the way is like part of chasing your dream and part of the journey and part of the eating the dirt till you get there. And I wonder how many people quit doing what they're doing because they're upset because eating the dirt takes too long if you look at anybody's success story it takes them years to get where they want to be and everybody wants to be there tomorrow but they're not willing to put in the time I was on a lot of conversations on the phone over the last few days and there's so many people that expect so much stuff and I don't understand why they think they should have it or they're not willing to put in the work or they're not willing to do a lot of the things it takes to get there but yet they expect the results and that bugs me. I don't understand why they, why they think they deserve something. Why they think that them over everyone else should get something when they're not the one putting in the work. They're not the one making, you know, whatever it is they're making. Or I don't want to be very specific because I don't want to call them out directly. But if they're not building or making what they're supposed to be doing or anything along that. And then they talk shit on me because I live in a tour bus. I'll let you know, it's not the grandest living in a tour bus. It's not like this amazing thing it's like living on a camper but a little bit nicer you know but it's part of eating the dirt you know someday I'll make it nice someday everything will be perfect and doggy's mad but <laughs> there he's gonna can hear me talking <laughs> but someday I'll be where I want to be and maybe the bus will be at the location I want to be but it's eating the dirt to get there and I just don't think enough people are willing to put put things and bet on themselves and put themselves out there and risk it and I'm not saying it's for everybody don't trust me it's not for everybody this is not a thing that everybody should be doing but I'm finding that I'm happy one I'm always happy in the chaos but new neighbors Ooh. <laughs> but you can find the comfort in the chaos or Sorry, got thrown off there by the camper. So, you can find the, uh, or I find a lot of comfort in the chaos. Like, I love when things are a little bit messed up. I, I, I don't love the fact my wife's in D.C. That drives me nuts. I miss that woman every moment of every day. And I look forward to the day she retires and we get to do things together and travel and do a lot of things together. But that day is not today and it's part of eating the dirt part of making the dream happen so we can do the things that we want to do together and so many people think it's so easy or so many people either they th I don't understand why somebody thinks that everything should be given to them and then they think what I have is so easy to get but yet they can't get it for themselves and I'm in some kind of amazing situation I don't understand people for most times and I'm still trying to learn that I just don't know why you wouldn't go for what you really want in life. Like, this is something I want. This is something I love. I want to be able to travel and move my house. That's amazing. That's something I love. That's something that I dream of happening. You know? Being able to have something like this 
is beyond epic to me. You know, I can, I can hitch up, I can go wherever I want, I can go coast to coast. You know, my foundation is a set of tires. And it's not like it's a luxury. This is the house. Like, I don't understand why some people buy property. That's up to them. I think so many people buy property and then they'll spend their whole lives on that chunk of property. They'll spend their lives working on that property, working on that house. They'll never leave that property and they never go anywhere. So in my mindset, getting something like this is just makes way, way more sense because my, my foundation changes, my everything moves. I'm able to go where I wanna go. You know, I'm not investing all my time into a building at one location. My location changes. And that's why I invest in something like this. But for somebody to think that... <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm a little bit on a rant because I, I can't give you specifics, but it's a lot of phone calls with a lot of people that are just a bunch of entitled motherfuckers that kind of sent me off on a thing. And <sighs> I don't know if other people relate. I know that this would be something I'd rant at Daniel, so you guys get it today. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean to rant, but man, people sometimes, God, I just, like, they think living in this is like a glamorous lifestyle and that Kansas is some sort of like oasis. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know what the fuck the thought process on that was. <laughs> But then they will sit there and drive their $100,000 trucks, which cost more than what we have in the bus, and say that I'm flaunting by showing my bus. It'd be like if I took pictures in front of my house. It's a fucking bus, yo. Like, this is, this is my house. Welcome to it. My home. Mmm. But yeah, tell me... <laughs> Another thing they were telling me is chasing dreams is stupid, and... You know, I'm not going to give them the time anymore. Fuck them. Fuck them. It is an absolute gorgeous sunset again. Kind of continues on with the bus. It's kind of cool. Kansas does have its little moments. Sorry about the rant. Not something I'm super proud of. But it is things I believe. I don't believe people should be entitled. I don't believe people should expect things. Chasing your dream... One isn't easy, and if you're planning on chasing your dream, don't expect it to just come to you. Don't expect things to just be fucking handed to you. Like, it's a lot of fucking work. You know, and it takes years to get there. You look at anybody successful, you know, it took him years and years and years to get there. Even his excuse was Mr. Beast. Do you think Mr. Beast was an overnight thing? Look at the years and years and years of shit he put in. You know, the, the, the fact somebody thinks he's an overnight thing, that's fucking ridiculous. You know, people don't realize the hard work people put in to get to where they're at. And a lot of times it's about the hard work, chasing the thing you love and chasing the thing you do. And that's the reason they call it a fucking dream. Like, if your dream is just to get rich, then I don't know how the fuck you're going to get there. Because, yeah, that's a, that's a cool dream and all, but what's your skill? What's your angle? What are you doing to get there? You know, you got to figure that part out. Dreams aren't easy. Like, that's the whole point of a dream. It's, like, basically unobtainable. It's like one of the hardest things to do. It's the thing you, you dream about it. it. It's it's something that you've taken the time and you're like, wow, that would be so amazing that I would love to do that, but it is almost nearly impossible so I can only therefore dream of it. So if it's a dream, it's really that hard. It is something that crazy in your head. When people are like, oh, I dream of doing this. When it's something that's easily obtainable, I mean, that's great. Like if your dream is to have kids, you know, go out, you know, knock a few off, have some, you know, I want to have kids someday, but that's never been like my main dream of my entire life, like changing subjects here. But when you're chasing a dream, like it's not easy. It is seriously just not easy. So you got to grind at it. You have to do the work to get there. Like, it's not so easy and simple. If, dream, if, dream, if chasing dreams were easy, then everybody would just be achieving dream after dream after dream. You know, it's putting in the hard work and eating the dirt so you can get to the clouds. And I think people forget about, you know, people that are chasing dreams that it's not that easy. And, you know, maybe give them some leeway, give them some time, give them some space, you know, understand them more. 
you know, even if you're not the one chasing dreams, like, we're weird. We're off the wall. We're not like everyone else. And we think differently. And thinking differently, everyone thinks you're absolutely an off the wall thing. And then you have to justify your thinking for everything. And I, I don't think the way you do. I don't think the way a lot of people do. You know, I, I love my life and I love what's going on in my life and I love chasing dreams. And yeah, my situation's not perfect and I'm working on it. I'm working on changing my situation, but that's part of the whole thing is loving the journey while you're chasing the dream because you can chase a dream, but if you're not loving the journey, are you really loving chasing the dream? Because really the dream is the entire journey as you go. So just one of those things to think about. So like this car right here was a dream for me. It's something that I worked hard to get. I took other vehicles I had and made the trade happen and got this actual car in my life and this thing in my existence. Like it's one of my favorite cars I've ever owned in my entire life. It's the same year as me, the same age as me. But again, it was one of my dreams. It's something I put work into to be able to own, to be able to have. And that's super important to be able to be able to put the work into something and you can see your results out of it. But sometimes when you're chasing your dreams, you don't get to see those exact results. You don't get to see the, 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 the examples and the results and everything like that because it takes time to get there. So those of you out there that are chasing your dreams and you're not seeing and getting the results you want, give it time. It'll get there. It takes a moment. Sometimes you got to be patient. It's not like it happens overnight. I just got done doing my shopping for the day and I got really nothing much more to add than what I was saying. I just wanted to tell you guys I love you guys and I really hope that you're chasing your dreams and doing things that make you happy. So I will see you tomorrow.